how I became a realtor. What's my story? Where did I come from? Um, there aren't real estate agents out there, or they're very unique and individual. There's not a lot of them uh, that woke up one day and said, when I grow up, I'm going to be a realtor. Very few and far between, maybe one in 50. I grew up and I wanted to change the world. So I became a high school teacher. And I spent 10 years teaching high school, and I'm telling you right now, I absolutely loved it. I still love my kids, I still love my students, and I still tell funny stories and great stories, and so do they. They'll email me and tell me funny things. I loved teaching high school. Eventually, after 10 years, I was done, and I kind of knew it. So I thought, well, a, a change came in my life where I was moving from one state to the other, and it made sense to me to say, you know what, maybe this is the time that I go ahead and retire from teaching. So I did. I said, all right, I'm done with teaching. So I moved from Washington State to Georgia, and um, I landed here in Georgia trying to find a way to be involved with kids in another way. Um, specifically, we lived in Atlanta, and I thought, gosh, with all of my experience with kids and teens of all different backgrounds, I'm gonna go work with kids again. And there were a lot of closed doors, believe it or not. And I thought, gosh, I must be doing something wrong. And eventually it came down to the fact that I needed a paycheck. <laughs> so I went back to what I did in college, and that was work at the bank. So I went back into banking, and I was, it was easy, like just go stand in the window, count money, say thank you, sell accounts, whatever. So I went into banking, and I went and worked at this branch in a great neighborhood, and um, my second, no, yeah, my second day on the window, um, I got robbed. <laughs> and no, it wasn't funny, but when I think about it, it's funny. Um, because I thought, oh no, this will be easy, I'll just go work at the bank. Um, so. I got robbed, that was my second day. Um, and it was told to me at the time, it's very unusual, you know, um, in training they kind of tell you, you know, bank robberies happen, they're unusual, they're infrequent, maybe once every seven years. I think it was about maybe three or four months later, um, I got robbed again. <laughs> and so after the second robbery, I went home and um, I said to my husband, I said, I, I think I'm, I think I'm going to quit banking. <laughs> so I went ahead and I said goodbye to being a bank teller. And while I was working at the bank and counting other people's money and basically talking to them about what they did for a living, I ran into a bunch of real estate agents and I liked them. And I thought they were very friendly and they were outgoing and they brought paychecks. And I thought, gosh, this is really great. So I decided I was gonna go be a realtor. And in doing so, I went out and I took the class and I became a realtor. And, and about three weeks after that, the entire mortgage crisis happened and the entire real estate market went <laughs> So um, I've now been selling real estate for almost 20 years, if that's not insane. I think it's totally insane. Um, and I have survived that. I've survived high school students, I have survived bank robberies, and so now I just get to um, help you guys in following what you wanna do and handle any of the stress or drama that comes up in between all of life's little moments. Hey everybody, it's Melissa Morgan, your favorite realtor, and what I need you to do is like, follow, share, comment, any of the above. I wanna get it all out there, the news is great, let's get going.